I have just spoken about the role of CSOs in implementation of the HPV screening in the MENA region. So um, that's basically an area consisting of many Asian and Arab and African countries. And we share quite a few of our uh, socioeconomic and sociocultural characteristics. So uh, basically we are a, this is like exploring the role of what we can offer to the governments in the form of helping to prevent and eliminate cervical cancer. Well, we are just starting our journey in that respect. Uh, we have applied for the um, vaccination to be provided by Gavi, and in autumn of 2025, we are hoping to have the vaccination available in the expanded program of immunization in Pakistan. So at the moment, we are just getting ready for the advocacy efforts and also for the awareness raising amongst the families, mothers, parents, uh, teachers, and the religious leaders so that there's a take up of the vaccine. As far as the screening for uh, cervical cancer is concerned, uh, at the present time, it is only being offered as an opportunistic uh, screening program. We do not have an organized screening program, but uh, the country has just um, finished a situation analysis for breast and cervical cancer prevention screening and treatment uh, under the leadership of WHO. And we are hoping that with those results being tabled, we should be able to set up a screening program in the country. It will be exactly as uh, the international guidelines are. And luckily now WHO has already stated that we uh, can just do well with one single dose. It will be a part of the expanded program of immunization, which is a very successful one being run in the country. So we are hoping to get the girls 9 to 15 years old in the school um, to be vaccinated. Uh, another issue that we have is that uh, almost 36% of our girls are actually out of school. So reaching out to them is going to be uh, something that we really need to be um, vigilant about. And uh, hopefully uh, in the autumn of 2025, this program will be rolled out. Well, this is a question which can take a long time to answer, it is a loaded but <laughs> it is a loaded question indeed. But you know, like all the uh, lower and middle income countries, obviously there are restrictions in the form of financial constraints. Then the country often has, you know, other natural disasters which drain the resources and attention of the government. Then we have a lot of um, displaced people in the country. And all this means that the government's attention and priority has to be uh, specifically channelized towards uh, cervical cancer prevention and screening. And that is what we are hoping to get on board. And on the other side, uh, the awareness amongst the girls and women and families in general, health literacy and the value of health for women, it is something that uh, needs to be propagated well. And women usually would do everything for the family, but nothing for themselves. So I think that culture, uh, the status of women in the society, their empowerment, uh, their education and priority of for health that has to be um, that has to be really highlighted by the government and by the society so that the women actually will come and use the services and then finally you know the status of health services uh, we have a long way to go uh, we are hoping that the cervical cancer screening will be included in the universal health package uh, so that it can be offered to women uh, in the primary care centers, secondary as well as tertiary centers. So uh, looking forward to that. Well, the actual screening situation is not very good. Uh, we hardly managed to scan 1.5 to 2% of our population, and that's just totally opportunistic. There is no uh, organized national cancer screening program, but we do have a very well-organized system where there are uh, peripheral small units, like the basic health units, which are then looked after by the rural health center, then there are the seal and district headquarter hospitals. So we are hoping that if we are able to train 
uh, all the staff right from the specialist down to the community um, workers and they can help us not only in getting the vaccination to the people who need it but also in cervical cancer screening and uh, for the situation analysis uh, we have actually recommended that we should resort to hpv testing which is the actual uh, preferred method by who so hopefully we will get it going You're very, very right because the situation analysis, we've just finished writing it and reporting it. Uh, we've taken breast and cervical cancers together because after all, it is the same woman. And I think once she comes to the facility, she can have both the services. So we are going to, we are hoping that the government will tag it as Women's Cancer Screening Initiative and we can offer the breast uh, as well as the cervical cancer screening at the same time. Well, if you had asked for my wish list, I would have put it at the top. Uh, but at the moment, you know, we are trying to make an economically feasible case, in which case it will definitely, it has been proven in other parts of the world, and we should also be able to make a case for gender neutral vaccination. But for now, at the moment, I think within the next three to five years term, I think even if we get it rolling for the girls, that would be a good... A big thing. Good output, yeah. I think the final message really is that cervical cancer is a cancer which should no longer be here. We know that a virus causes it. We know that there's a 10 to 15 years uh, latent period from slight abnormalities to developing the cancer. So, and even if you pick up the cancer at an early stage, the life of the woman can be saved. It's not only the life of the woman and the pain and the misery. When the mother dies, the whole family is devastated. And ca cervical cancer causes so many deaths, so many deaths of the mother. Every one hour, one mother dies because of this in our region. And we, cervical cancer is also responsible for one-fourth of cancer orphans in the whole world. So I think we all need to make a promise and do our bit to make it a cancer elimination, a real reality, which is the need of the hour.